Hi friends, in this video, we will go to discuss about why inductor blocks AC current and why capacitor blocks DC current. We know inductor only allows the DC current and capacitor only allows the AC current. Why inductor does not allow the AC current and why capacitor does not allow the DC current, the whole thing in this video we will go to discuss. Okay, first let's see why the inductor blocks the AC current. Inductor blocks the AC current because reactance of the inductor is directly proportional to the frequency. Here observe this point. Reactance of the inductor is directly proportional to the frequency. Reactance is nothing but opposing force of current of a inductor. Opposing force of current. Okay. Opposing force of current in an inductor is nothing but reactance of an inductor. It is directly proportional to the frequency. That means if the frequency is increases, the reactance also increases. If the frequency is decreases, the reactance also decreases. This is the relation between the reactance and the frequency of inductor. XL is the inductive reactance equal to J omega L. Here omega is nothing but frequency of the current. If frequency of the current increases, then reactance also increases. That means this true or in directly proportional if assume if uh, if we apply the ac current to the inductor ac means alternating current if there is alternating current then there is a frequency also that means in ac current we have some frequency suppose if we have some frequency we have omega value that omega value uh, suppose we have omega value then inductance are not inductance reactance also we have Reactance means if we have a reactance, then it does not allow the current. First point we should remember if we have a reactance, then the inductor does not allow the current. When we have a reactance, whenever our current is having the frequency, then only we have reactance. Here, when we apply the AC current, AC current must have some frequency. Due to that frequency, that inductor have some, what call? That inductor have some reactance. Due to that reactance only, the inductor blocks the AC current. Okay. Let's see here. When we apply DC to the inductor, then frequency is zero. We know in DC current, frequency is zero. Then reactance also zero. If the frequency that is omega is zero, then XL is also zero. Okay. Reactance is also zero. If reactance is zero, then it it allows the current maximum. Okay. I think you ho I hope you have understand. If the reactance is zero, then the complete total current is all flows in the inductor. If the reactance is maximum, then it uh, uh, inductor does not allow the current. This is why the inductor, why the inductor blocks the AC and why the inductor allows the DC current. Next we will go to see why the capacitor blocks the DC current and why it only allows the AC current. Okay. Next. Observe here. Capacitor blocks the DC current because the reactance of the capacitor is inversely proportional to the frequency. Here, Xc is the reactance of the capacitor equal to 1 by J omega C. Here, observe Xc and omega. These two are inversely proportional to each other. The relation between the reactance and the frequency of the current are inversely proportional. Which means, if the frequency is increases, then the reactance is decreases. Where we get the maximum frequency means in alternating current only we get the maximum frequency. That means if we apply the AC current to the capacitor, if we apply the AC current to the capacitor, that AC current should have some reactance. Due to that reactance, the capacitor does not, oh sorry, the capacitor flows the AC current. Uh, here see up again xc equal to 1 by j omega c 
here omega is the frequency of the current if the frequency of the current increases when the frequency of the current increases whenever we apply the ac source to the capacitor then frequency increases whenever the frequency increases uh, the reactance is decreases because these two are related in inversely proportional okay whenever the frequency increases the reactance decreases whenever the reactance decreases then automatically the current is flowing through the capacitor okay whenever the reactance decreases then automatically current flowing through the capacitor when now when the reactance decrease means whenever frequency increases frequency increases okay whenever the frequency increases then reactance decreases automatically current is flowing through the capacitor this is how the capacitor will allow the ac current and blocks the dc current i hope you have understand thank you thank you for watching this video